Hi, welcome to Witcher Math on YouTube. Today we're going to uh, talk about using a rectangle model or pictures to represent dividing fractions. Uh, a lot of you out there have been asking about this. It's uh, pretty easy to do with addition, subtraction, and multiplication. Um, let's see how it works with fractions. First of all, let's start with a very simple one. One half divided by one third. It's good to always use super simple examples. Maybe you already know the answer to it. That way, when, when you work out a new strategy, you'll know if the strategy works or not. This can also be written like this as a complex fraction. Okay, now we're going to start with a rectangle. Just a generic rectangle. You don't need to measure it or anything like that. And we're going to take the numerator, right, or the first fraction in a problem like this, also called the dividend. We're going to take that and we're going to label this side and we're going to create that fraction there. Okay, we can kind of shade that in. Then you can imagine we're going to take the denominator or the uh, divisor and put it over here, create that split in the rectangle. Okay. Then we're going to count these pieces. We're going to count. Got three of them. Okay. Now, what does each one of those pieces stand for? What is each worth compared to the denominator? That's the question you ask at this point. And the answer is, well, each one of those is worth one half of that one third, right? These are each one thirds. Each one of these pieces is worth one half of that. Okay, so three of these one halves or three halves fit into one half. Three halves of a one third fits into three halves. Three halves of a one third fits into a one half. This is our proof. Three halves of means multiply, fits into means the equal sign. That's true, isn't it? Multiply straight across, three six equals one half. That's true. So there's the answer. There's the answer. Three halves is the answer to what is one half divided by one third. Let's do another one. Let's take the exact same two fractions and do this with them. Okay, or it would look like this. Okay, let's use the same technique. We draw us a little rectangle. We put the numerator right here. Create that division, right, that split. Then we're going to take the denominator, one half. We're going to create that split. Now we're going to count. Count the boxes. There's two of them. What is each one worth compared to this? Well, that is one third of one of those, right? This whole thing is a half. That's one third of a half, right? There's two of them. So two of those one thirds or two-thirds, because of means, you remember that, of means multiply, right? So two 
of these one-thirds of that fit into there? So the answer is two-thirds. How do we prove that or check that? Well, we just simply answer the question. We go, oh, two-thirds of a one-half fits into one-third. Is that true? This ends up being the proof. We multiply straight across. That's two. That's six. Those are equivalent. That works. And this also proves, ta-da, it proves the flip and multiply technique, which is how most people would solve these problems, right? But sometimes you're asked to make a picture, and this is how you would do that. Okay. If you'd like to see uh, more complicated examples, uh, click this link here and go to the next video. I'll do a couple more examples using uh, a little more complicated fractions. Thanks for watching. That is how you use rectangle models to represent fraction division. Talk to you later.